Hi, my name is Anna Pusakovic and the uh, topic for this talk is the MySQL JSON plugin. The agenda for this talk is the introduction, then we will see how to compare JSON data and MySQL MariaDB, how to read uh, MySQL 5.7 JSON data and MariaDB with our plugin, uh, how to install MySQL JSON plugin and uh, the ways uh, to import the JSON data in MariaDB. So MySQL JSON plugin is the MariaDB plugin that is introduced in the version 10.5.7 in order to convert MySQL 5.7 JSON data to MariaDB. Uh, current uh, plugin maturity is alpha for the version 10.6 that we are going to use and the shared library name is uh, type MySQL JSON. Uh, First, we are going to create some uh, JSON data and we are going to use that data in MySQL in MariaDB uh, using the Docker containers uh, and we will uh, observe the results uh, of uh, created uh, data. Uh, for that, uh, we are going to use the commands that I already uh, wrote. Uh, we will create the uh, directory uh, that will store some uh, script with the JSON data and uh, we will use, we will mount that uh, directory during the uh, container startup that will be, uh, ex where, where this script will be executed. Uh, so let's first start that. Okay. Uh, so data here. Uh, so we are creating the database uh, using the database with the books uh, table uh, created and we are using the JSON data type uh, with the engine uh, myISOM. We are inserting some values uh, in JSON format, some uh, JSON object and the J yeah, JSON arrays we have also and uh, we are going to use the same uh, queries in the MariaDB and the MySQL. So, for that, we are going to uh, start the MySQL uh, Docker container. Uh, so, what this uh, command is doing, it's creating the uh, Docker container called MySQL server. It is mounting uh, the uh, MySQL data uh, folder as a data directory. It will be created during the uh, so during the container startup, and it is also mounting the uh, mynDB so uh, directory that we already created uh, with uh, the script that will be executed during the uh, container startup, and is using the uh, environment variable MySQL root password on the image uh, 5.7, uh, and also you can uh, see in parallel what this command is doing. Uh, it is just uh, changing the name of the uh, container to MariaDB server on the image MariaDB latest, currently 10.6. It is using the different data directory and using the same directory for the uh, container startup. Uh, we are using the uh, MariaDB root password as environment variable, but also the same uh, same MySQL root password can be used. Okay, so let's start this. Uh, let's see the container yes, is created. Let's add this. It is also created. We can also check the logs for the MySQL server. Also, we can check for the MariaDB server. Yeah, we can see it is 10.5.7. Uh, uh, for the MariaDB server, it is 10.6. Everything good. Okay. So, after that, we can just check the, the uh, data that we have. So, we are going to use this command. So, this command is <coughs> uh, running the MySQL uh, client in the MySQL uh, server container with the credit root and the secret uh, username and password, and also execute, execute uh, queries, uh, show create table, and uh, showing the uh, table creation, and also the uh, showing the data from the table books. So when we run this, we get uh, this result uh, for the MariaDB server. We can use the same uh, command, but we will need just to change the MariaDB server as a container and also change uh, MariaDB uh, uh, client binary that is 
uh, binary from 10.5. Uh, we can also use the MySQL, but it's the same link uh, for this one. And the same query we are going to execute. Okay, so we can uh, observe some results. Uh, for the same queries, uh, we get the different uh, result in the show create table. <laughs> we can see that here uh, MySQL is using the JSON as a data type and the uh, MariaDB is using the long text. Uh, so in MariaDB, uh, when we specify JSON as a data type for the column, uh, it is actually the alias, alias for the uh, long text. Where for uh, my for the MySQL uh, JSON is the native data type. Uh, also, we can see here that the MariaDB uh, we have the uh, the same character set and the collation as the uh, JSON uh, data type uh, in MySQL, and we have no change in the uh, in the data that we observe. Okay, so this is the first part that uh, we want to point that we have the uh, different structure in MariaDB and uh, uh, MySQL. Um, MySQL is using the JSON, JSON data type, native data type, and MariaDB is using the long text. Okay, uh, so in the next section we are going to uh, read the uh, MySQL JSON data type uh, without, in, Maria, in MariaDB without uh, plug installed. So we are going to use um, this uh, commands. So first, we need to stop the uh, MySQL server. Uh, after that, uh, we are going to create a backup uh, of the data because we are going to use uh, multiple times, uh, at least two times, uh, the, the same uh, MySQL data. So we are going to copy that. Uh, and uh, after that, uh, we are going to uh, start the MariaDB, second MariaDB container. So this command will start the second MariaDB container using the different uh, data directory. So the data directory from the MySQL 5.7 and also using the uh, same booster script uh, from MindDB directory and the same uh, root password. So let's execute it. Let's check this. Okay, so we have this MariaDB server uh, to container. Uh, let's now try to see what we get. So when we execute uh, this command, uh, so the same command that we used before uh, to show create the table, we are going to get the error unknown data type MySQL JSON. So <laughs> What this, what this is saying that uh, MariaDB server uh, cannot uh, recognize uh, the uh, JSON uh, data type in uh, MySQL 5.7 and it is uh, generating, this, generating a descriptive uh, error message. Before 10.5.7, uh, the error uh, was in this form. So we had the incorrect information in uh, some file. Uh, so in this version, we, we get some be better, better descriptive uh, error message. Okay, so in order to solve this, uh, we need to install the MySQL JSON data type, actually MySQL JSON uh, plugin. Uh, first, uh, let's see where the uh, plugin resides. So with this command, uh, we can see uh, what is the directory of the plugin. Uh, in the uh, MariaDB. So it is located in the user with MySQL plugin. And also we want to check uh, does uh, that directory has the uh, shared library uh, for the uh, MySQL JSON. So in order to do that, uh, we can uh, <coughs> grab for the JSON. Uh, in inside the plugin directory, and we should obtain uh, type MySQL JSON shared library. So, yeah, uh, we uh, in, inside the plugin directory we have everything necessary to install the MySQL JSON plugin. Okay. 
also, what is important to check is the uh, plugin maturity. So, uh, we, we said at the beginning that uh, MySQL JSON plugin needs uh, alpha uh, plugin maturity, but by default, plugin maturity is gamma, what we can observe uh, with this command. So, uh, in order to use the uh, MySQL JSON plugin, uh, we have to change uh, the plugin maturity and also to install the plugin during the uh, container startup. So, how to do that? Uh, well, this is the uh, third section. Uh, we will use the uh, plugin maturity um, server option and also plugin load add uh, server option. Uh, and in order to do that, we have these uh, commands that we are going to use. So I can stop the uh, first MariaDB server Docker container. Okay, so I, ha I have only the second one. Uh, actually, I can stop also that one. Stop MariaDB server that one because I'm going to uh, create a new one so let me copy paste this <laughs> command so this command is also starting the uh, container uh, MariaDB server 2 with the same data so we didn't change any data now uh, also is using the same uh, bootstrap script uh, root password and uh, on the image 10.6 and after that, we are specifying the server options. Uh, so the plugin maturity uh, is equals alpha or experimental version currently. Uh, and the plugin load add option, where uh, we are very specifying the form of the name of the plugin. So the name of the plugin is MySQL JSON. And the uh, name of the library. Uh, we could uh, remove uh, this part because this library has only a single plug plugin but okay I decided to use this one also you can use the configuration fi uh, files uh, to load uh, to, to start with these options but I didn't didn't do that in this for, for this talk so yeah let's start this okay so let's first verify that we have everything that we have correct uh, parameters so we are going to uh, check for the plugin maturity server option and yeah definitely it was changed uh, also we are going to check uh, for installation of the uh, MySQL uh, MySQL JSON plugin so we are going uh, to query from the uh, plugins table from information schema where the plugin name is equals uh, is equal uh, MySQL JSON. So let's see that. Yeah, so we have here the plugin uh, MySQL JSON installed correctly and we can proceed further with the <coughs> uh, with the process. So next step uh, is trying to get the JSON data uh, again. So copy paste this command. So in this step, we are going again to see uh, the result of the uh, show create table. Remember that uh, previously we got the error uh, unknown data type. However, uh, we now have started the uh, ser with, uh, the container with the uh, plug maturity is equals alpha, and also uh, we have installed the plug. So we should get now different. Uh, message and yes we got the different message uh, message is to do uh, alter table force uh, so by default uh, even the plugin installed uh, MariaDB is uh, Maria, MariaDB wants uh, that users uh, explicitly define uh, what want what want uh, to do with with uh, JSON data so uh, there are different steps, uh, I, I actually ways uh, how to do that. One of the ways is uh, alter table force, but there are also other ways. 
what we are going to explain uh, a bit later. Uh, but can, uh, let me just uh, explain the MariaDB check also as a way to check for the uh, uh, verification of uh, a plugin. So we can also run uh, MariaDB check binary uh, on the table uh, test one where our JSON data uh, are stored. Uh, also in the in the table, actually in the database test one table books, and uh, we should get the same message as before. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we can now. Uh, see uh, different ways how to import the JSON data uh, as said already uh, from this descriptive message uh, one way is used is to use the other table force but there are also uh, uh, other, other ways uh, using MariaDB upgrade as well as the MySQL dump so uh, we are going to see the commands uh, for that so let's first uh, see how to use alter table force so we are going to use this command uh, so this command is uh, acting on uh, container uh, MariaDB server 2 which has already uh, MySQL 5.7 uh, data and it is performing outer table force after that uh, after that command uh, it, we are going to uh, show create table and uh, select the, the data from from the books. Uh, so let's execute that. And yes, we don't have now the uh, error message. Uh, so alter table force uh, changed uh, the uh, books table so to be uh, in the MariaDB format. So we can now see that uh, column B has the long text. Uh, instead of the uh, JSON data entity type from uh, MySQL and also we can see that we have the same data as before okay uh, know that uh, after the after that command after this command uh, we cannot use anymore the uh, data directory uh, for the MySQL because we changed the whole the whole data directory to MariaDB. Okay, <laughs> so that is the first way how you can uh, change data and the second way uh, is using the MariaDB upgrade. So uh, for that uh, we are going first to stop MariaDB server 2, so we are going to remove it. Remove it. Okay. Uh, and uh, after that, we are going because we changed uh, the uh, backup data uh, of backup MySQL data. We are going to create a new one. So, but before, yeah, okay, that one. And also we need to change the ownership to user ID Docker and the group of the Docker. Okay, and now again we can start the. Uh, container uh, for the MariaDB server. Again, we are using the same data, right, from MySQL. Uh, everything is the same as before. We are installing the plugin and change the, the plugin maturity. Okay. Okay. And uh, as the next step. Uh, let's first see what we get with the comma command uh, show create table and uh, select the data uh, this is not something I would expect Did I remove? Uh, 
let me uh, remove MySQL data. Actually, let me stop uh, my DP server. After that, I'm going to remove the data. Uh, after that, I'm going to copy the data again and change the uh, ownership. Start the uh, container again and verify that I sh should here get the error message. Yes, now I get the error message, and that's what I expected to have. And after that, we should run the uh, my DB upgrade. So the reason be because of that is uh, I didn't remove uh, correctly the uh, backup data from pre previous steps, so I need to do that again. Okay, so let me do that in this terminal. So here uh, we are going to run the uh, MariaDB upgrade. Uh, binary uh, on the database test one and the books table. So after this step, step uh, we expect to have uh, valid uh, data. So, okay. This will take a bit of time. And yeah, here we can see that uh, for the database test, uh, books table needs upgrade. And uh, after this step, uh, it is prepared. So we can again execute the command uh, to show create table and select books. And now we can see the right result. Cool. Okay. Uh, and the third step is to run the MySQL dump on the uh, MySQL data folder. So let me perform also that. Uh, I didn't need any backup for this, so I will run this command. So uh, I am going to use the same uh, MySQL data and uh, start the MySQL uh, server first. Okay, and uh, after that, uh, I'm going to use the uh, MySQL dump. Uh, client and uh, store the dump in the MySQL books. Uh, reason uh, why I have used this uh, MySQL password as an environment variable is because uh, uh, storing data in the uh, dump, uh, it generated the warning. MySQL dump gen generated the warning and I didn't want uh, to have that. Okay, so I should have see here now the MySQL Okay, books. Okay, and uh, after that I can start a new container. So, MySQL Server X, actually. To be sure, let me stop MariaDB. Docker, MariaDB Server 2. And uh, let's start that container. Okay, uh, first, I need to uh, create a database in that container and uh, in that database I'm going to, uh, to restore the data from the uh, from the dump from the MySQL dump so I run this command and uh, to verify the results uh, I'm copy paste I copy paste this command and yeah, we get the uh, books table again in the MariaDB format. So oh, that's it for, for, for this talk. Uh, thanks. I, want, I would like to thank uh, our sponsors also and uh, thank you for watching and uh, let me know if you have any other questions.